All right, so you got your story locked down in your screenplay, then, and you've done your storyboarding, so the next step in creating an animation is you've got to record all of the character dialogue. Now in Hollywood, a bunch of really expensive actors go into a small studio, and basically they have to act out uh, all, their, their entire movie uh, into a microphone using their imagination to try to visualize the world their character might be in, and of course, the animation itself hasn't even been made yet, so the actors might not really even know what that character's surroundings are going to end up looking like at the end of the movie, or when the movie comes out finally. They, they also may not even know what their character looks like. Uh, so um, this really is early on in the process that the, the, the recording of dialogue is done. And then everything else it seemed, uh, tends to be timed and based off of, uh, of the, that, those actors' performances. Now, for the Xander episodes, at this current time, I am actually doing the voice of all of the characters. Um, I record the voice of each character using a microphone and some processing equipment and my, my computer. Now, there are some tricks to getting good quality audio recording that I will cover in a later tutorial. But I will say this, if you are going to do the voice of more than one character yourself, I recommend not doing that. But if you're going to do it anyway, I would recommend recording each of the characters' dialogue separately. You want to do the dialogue for one character all the way through, and then go back and do the dialogue for the other character all the way through. This way you can get as much consistency as possible for each character that would otherwise be lost if you're trying to switch back and forth between, um, you know, you must pay the rent. I can't pay the rent. You must pay the rent. I can't pay... You know, the, the classical story. Anyway, moving on. After recording the dialogue, it will help you immensely to clean up the audio using a program such as this one, Adobe Sound Booth. Another one that is a great one to use is Audacity. With This is an open source uh, program that you can use. It's very good. Uh, people like it. Uh, and cleaning up the recording is going to include cutting out dead space, reducing background noise, and dampening certain vocal sounds called plosives, which I'll get into in another lesson.